It's being called the largest scientific experiment in history, and some say one that could cause Armageddon. This $5.8 billion machine is designed to break up atoms. It's called the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, an underground tunnel 17 miles wide attached to several particle detectors the size of office buildings. Those detectors will look for signs of invisible dark matter, a so far undiscovered particle smaller than the atom. One scientist believe gives matter mass. But critics suggest this mammoth machine could destroy the world. That's because by the end of the summer, the collider is scheduled to generate energies seven times higher than any other machine in history. We're absolutely sure that this isn't going to happen because we know that there are cosmic rays hitting the Earth, hitting the atmosphere, the sun, the moon, Jupiter, all of the time at even higher energies that, than we can create here. The aspect that's different here is that we're doing it in the same place so that we can actually observe what happens. But we know that we can't do something here that hasn't been going on for millions of years already at even higher energies. Concerns that these scientists don't know exactly what will happen when they flip the switch. Critics say that smashing atoms at 99.9% .9 the speed of light might cause the fabric of the universe to fold up on itself. But scientists here are brushing off those concerns they say cosmic rays have been bombarding the Earth at much higher energies since the solar system formed 4.5 billion years ago. If you look at what has happened to science in the 20th century, and we've gone from, you know, from the automobile through planes to be able to sort of try and pro, you know, probe the, the, the structure of the universe in this way, it's just inconceivable. And I think just, it's just part of this adventure, just man pushing against the limits. The European Research Center reviewed safety issues of the collider in 2003 and said there was no way the device could trigger a catastrophic event. The center is expected to publish an updated review later this week. Sandy Cosell, The Associated Press.